Hey, what's up? This is Laidback Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and family guy. I'm taking you out to Hong Kong for the World Championships of Kung Fu. Yes, that's right. The World Championships, and I'm competing. It's been a long five months getting ready for this, long and cold. The majority of my training was outside during the New York winter. I even trained outside in the snow. I'm coming in super prepared though. My Sifu always says, fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. That's your card for your athlete's number. And you gotta put that on your, when you're competing. And then your first thing will be uh, Tai Chi hand form. Then your Kung Fu straight sword. But this is the afternoon session, this is the evening session. Hey, what's up? Good morning. I was just scrambling trying to get my new episode of Mix Mash Radio done. The schedule is always super tight. So right now I'm going to have breakfast with the team. Out to train now. It's day one. And luckily there's no competition today. Tomorrow we'll do everything. So today we'll have a chance to check everything out and see if we're still in shape. training session out. I'm really happy to be back in warm weather. I've longed all winter for this. Feeling good, legs feel strong for the competition. Time for some dim sum now. I love dim sum. And now we're off to the tournament not to compete, just to watch the opening ceremony today. And the thing is, you'll already see some awesome kung fu. Tell me about your heartbreak hotel Cause you got lots to say How do we know where, when we compete, where we compete, and stuff like that? So this is the place we come um, to find out what the running order is. Wait, isn't that the place with the little uh, sheets of paper? That's the place with the scores. So when you've oh. competed, that's where you go and find if you've won a medal. But first of all, you have to come here, and there's marshals with a big list, and you have to go and find out where your running order is and what floor you're on, and queue at the right tent. So this was a full day watching the competition. Very excited for tomorrow. I'm just gonna go up to the Nina Tower right now where there's an amazing view. It's a Chinese Kung Fu school here. These guys run like military. Very disciplined. The teacher's telling the kids that he embarrassed them and they have to behave themselves more in the competition. And he's pulling out a couple of the kids who've been bad. And all these kids are real scared because they get punished. You know? It's not like uh, it's not like in the West. Okay, so uh, don't worry about tomorrow. Do your best. You're all ready. That's all we can do. And hopefully, we'll see you all later with some medals. I'm currently running the shower to try and steam my clothes for tomorrow. It was a long day today. We saw a lot of amazing Kung Fu. And to be honest, I can't wait to be on the mat myself. Almost forgot though. I'm in Kung Fu mode, but the deadlines still go on. I'm about to hand in my new single called Paradise. I'm going to be playing it a lot in Miami next week. More news soon. It's competition day today. I had another solid night of sleep. I don't know what I did, but transitioning to Hong Kong time has been really easy. Apparently it's 12 hours upside down to American time, but I'm doing well. Got my competition sticker on, got my badge with me, ready to rock this. Let's do it today. It's packed out today. We're gonna try and find a spot in the bottom of the tribunes now to just leave our stuff while we compete. If you put all the competitors together in a European competition, then one of the teams here would be bigger than that. So just to give you an idea, some of the teams have like 200 people. About to go on, uh, all these people are competing. It's
blood. <laughs> so whenever you finish, you need to go back outside again and uh, re-enter pretty much and all of us marching back in. So it's break time right now. Uh, we have a couple of hours before we do all the next events. So I had two nightmares today, things that I was afraid that would happen. So uh, the one thing was uh, standing on one leg, pointing the sword. I was afraid to hold it longer than a second. And then the other one was uh, with the stick form, the end pose, you flick your stick up, catch it, afraid to drop my stick. Both of them didn't happen. Three events to go. Uh, the nightmare part is over. It's all smooth sailing from here. I have a problem right now. I'm gonna need to do Tai Chi, uh, but my Tai Chi jacket is all wrinkled up because it was in my bag and everything. I need to try and just hang it for it to look good again. I was just sent away because um, I hung my, uh, my jacket over there and the security is super strict. So now I just hung it over here. Perfect spot if you ask me. Just seeing if, uh, if I don't get kicked out again. I am not a famous Kung Fu star, but we have Neil here who is an EDM lover, and he there traced he me down. I, actually, I think he beat up like five or ten people just to meet me yeah. here today. One, one, three, 107. 107. It's time to look at the results now. Just for the uh, first session. First session. Let's see what came in. 117. 117. I was 113, I think. Go! Bam, bam, bam. What do we get? What do we get? First three categories, three gold. Woo! Two of my first ones, both gold as well. We can't believe those results already. Right now it's time for section two, three more events. And we're back in. Time for a Kung Fu hand for us. Last time walking in, two more events, and then I'm done. So I'm done. Harma's gonna do one more. Are you done? One more. Yeah. One more. One more and then we'll await the results. Everyone is standing outside collecting their medals. We're going up to the wall to see um, if we want some more. So this gets confusing, so many numbers, so many results. A lot of them in Chinese. Okay, so I just picked up a bronze medal and a silver medal. Still waiting for two more results, fingers crossed. In the Chinese philosophy, eight is the perfect number and eight is the maximum categories you're allowed to do. So I entered eight, and the dream is eight gold. And so far I've got six gold, two categories left. I have to see what I get with those. Another gold. Another gold. Another gold. Another gold. Congrats. Seven gold. Seven gold, I've already equaled. I'm just waiting for one more. The winner is it? Yes. Can you guess? She did it! I lost to you. <laughs> Here we go. Eight. Eight, Eight gold. Amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, Legendary. History has been written. Right here, right now. Final two results in a gold and a silver. It's 11.30 p.m. Luckily, everything is open 24 hours here, so we're just gonna get some food and celebrate. So this was the end of an eventful day. We can't complain, we're bringing back a ton of gold. When they fast and die young, I'm outcast, you're pariah, baby, you're my such an adventure and I'm happy you got to see all of this. So amazing I came out victoriously. If you like it that I won medals, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Next up I'll be flying straight from Hong Kong to Miami, fully back into DJ mode. It's the Miami Music Week. I'll have a very special vlog in store for you 
because I'm not going to film it. But Final Kit, the guy that shoots all the Ultra Music Festival after movies, is going to shoot it for me. This is going to be a work of art, so don't miss out. Catch you on the next one. Until then, L's up, rave safely, and salute. <laughs>